You bring sunshine to others and for that we are glad. May you feel that this blessing is sent to you in hopes the morning is successful in all you do. God has already blessed you this morning by allowing you to wake up. Make the most of your day. You can show this by being thankful. Father Oliveira recently received a second prophecy from Our Lady, revealing a celestial phenomenon set to transpire on the 31st of October. This extraordinary event, divinely foretold, is poised to captivate human attention. According to the vision bestowed upon Father Oliveira, something remarkable is destined to unfold in the vast expanse of the heavens precisely four minutes into that fateful day. To ensure that as many people as possible see this video, kindly take a moment to share this video and subscribe to this channel. May this message touch your heart and help to bring you close to the conversation of souls and the conversion of sinners. If you believe so, please type Amen. A breath of prayer in the morning means a day of blessing sure, a breath of prayer in the evening means a night of rest secure. Before delving into the core content of this video, we invite you to join us in a moment of reflection and prayer. Take a brief pause to unite with our community as we seek solace, inspiration, and connection through this spiritual practice, prayer come, O Spirit of understanding, and enlighten our minds, that we may know and believe all the mysteries of salvation, and may merit at last to see the eternal light in thy light, and in the light of glory to have a clear vision of Thee and the Father and the Son. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, take all my freedom, my memory, my understanding, and my will. All that I have and cherish You have given me. I surrender it all to be guided by Your will. Your grace and Your love are wealth enough for me. Give me these, Lord Jesus, and I ask for nothing more. Amen. This prophetic revelation not only hints at a celestial spectacle but also underscores the significance of the chosen date, implicitly inviting humanity to witness and ponder the celestial marvel that awaits them. Now, the message will be shared with all of you, beloved children of my Immaculate Heart, my love holds you within my heart. I guide you along sure paths as the mother of humanity to prevent you from getting lost. As your mother, I warn you out of love and make announcements to you so that you would take precautions. It is of utmost importance that you direct your focus and awareness toward the 31st of October, for on that auspicious day, a celestial event of great significance is set to transpire in the vast expanse of the sky. This forthcoming phenomenon carries with it an air of wonder and mystery, beckoning all to observe and contemplate the celestial spectacle that is destined to unfold. During this extraordinary day, a miraculous radiance emanating from the heart of the sun is poised to manifest itself, making its radiant presence known to the world within a span of mere four minutes. Following this celestial display, I am destined to emerge just seconds later, my presence heralding a profound moment that holds the promise of revelation and significance beyond our current comprehension. As the sun begins its ascent, casting a warm golden hue upon the landscape, the villagers will gather in the churchyard. Their anticipation will grow as the minutes tick away, and the radiant sky above them will take on a surreal, almost ethereal quality. The air will be still, and a hushed reverence will fall over the assembly as if the world itself is holding its breath. Then, as foretold, it will happen. In the midst of the azure sky, a miracle light will burst forth from the heart of the sun, bathing the world in a celestial glow. A collective gasp of wonder and awe will escape the villagers' lips as they witness this breathtaking phenomenon. It will be as if the sun itself has been touched by the divine, and the heavens will open to reveal a heavenly light. But the miracle won't end there. Just seconds after the radiant display, a luminous figure, cloaked in robes of the purest white, will appear in the sky. 
It will be me myself, my presence filling the heavens with a sense of serenity and grace that transcends earthly understanding. During the sacred occasion of that day, it is recommended that you perform a meaningful and spiritually enriching ritual. This entails opening all the doors within your abode, creating an interconnected pathway that harmonizes your home with the world outside. With an air of reverence and devotion, gather in the illuminated spaces within your dwelling and take in the celestial radiance. At that moment, hold in your hands a blessed item, one imbued with sacred significance and spiritual power. With profound intent and faith, direct this blessed item toward the sun, the source of light and life, as you offer your prayers and supplications. Through this act, you symbolically bridge the earthly and the divine, allowing the transformative energy of your devotion to ascend towards the heavens, fostering a deeper connection with the celestial realm. As you open your heart to this sacred gesture, may the blessings and divine grace that flow from the sun infuse your home, your life, and your spirit with a profound sense of serenity, enlightenment, and spiritual alignment. You are blessed with both my suffering and my motherly love. Praise each other. My heavenly son laments his children's misery. Give yourself over to love for my divine son. Go forth fearlessly, as true offspring of my divine son. Fear not, you are not by yourself. I love you, I bless you and protect you. Our Lady's image will remain in the sky, becoming a beacon of hope and love. The villagers will know that they have been blessed with a rare and precious gift, a glimpse of the divine that will guide them on their spiritual journeys for generations to come. Luke 1 verse 42, in a loud voice she exclaimed, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the child you will bear. In this verse, Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, offers a heartfelt and joyous blessing to Mary. She acknowledges the unique and blessed position of Mary among women, recognizing her as highly favored by God. Now, let us come together in unity and devotion as we engage in a moment of collective prayer. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Thank you for watching till the end of our video. Our brothers and sisters, without fear and with more faith than in the past, let us continue in faith. Stay blessed and continue to pray for God to show all of us His graces and blessings. God bless us and protect us. Amen.